Good morning and happy Friday. I'm Chelsea Whittington with a Friday edition of a CWIT session. What's a CWIT session? I'm so glad you asked. A CWIT <laughs> session is a pop-up interview in a pop-up location with a surprise guest. Today, I am delighted to be joined by my colleagues and my longtime friends from the National Hookup of Black women. We are here inside of the Seawit offices in downtown Hammond. And I first want to thank you ladies for navigating all of the construction that's taking Absolutely. place. Absolutely. But yeah. it's worth it because we have some amazing news to share. Now before I introduce the two of you, I have to give a quick program note that I'm so excited about. Today is the three year anniversary of the Seawit Sauce. Oh, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Of congratulations. which you all are featured. So yeah. three years ago, I decided to start the awesome. newsletter and I started with a database of about 3,000 people. Yeah. It is now up to 40,000 oh, people. Oh my goodness. Getting awesome. information. That's a hand clap right yes. there. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And coupled with that are our CWIT sessions where we take our clients and bring them live and let our viewers know exactly what's happening. Now, I've gotten that bit of good news out. To my left, Sandra Vasquez, the president of the National Hookup of Black Women for our Northwest Indiana chapter. And one, someone I'd like to call a mentor, <laughs> a, a longtime friend, someone my mother absolutely adored, yes. Claudette Bullock. Good and morning. we are here to talk about, it's almost time. It's almost yes, time for the gay love. Yes, so that it's, time is I need some updates. On. So yeah. who yeah. wants to start about our gala that helps scholarships and pushes your mission forward? Okay. Well, you go know, uh, I'll go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'll go ahead. <laughs> Well, first of all, I'd like to thank you for having us here this yes, morning and uh, uh, to the uh, listeners. We're really excited about the uh, gala coming up. Yes. In fact, since we have not had one since 2019, this one is really, really special yeah, and indeed. people are looking forward to it. And uh, we do want to give a shout out to our sponsors and people that are donated. In fact, uh, even though um, we're coming into the finish uh, line here, People are still contacting us and sending in donations. That's we, the sauce, uh, by the way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the sauce that we love. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but people are continuing to donate. Uh, some people have called about ads. Uh, we cannot take ads at this time. The book is in print now. And you know that takes yeah. time to get And that, that takes time. Out. And we want to be fair with uh, everyone, you know, doing that. But. However, if you want to uh, send in donations, uh, that's, that's great. Uh, we'll take donations because not only is this uh, to support our scholarships, but our programs throughout the year. Yes. And so that's important. We do want to give a little shout out to uh, some of our sponsors. Of course, uh, our community partner for the fashion show is Ashley Stewart. I love fashion shows. Okay, <laughs> and uh, our corporate and some of our corporate and individual sponsors, uh, the Urban League of Northwest Indiana, hey, Dr. Dr. Vanessa, Vanessa. Uh, McLeod, and she's also a member of the National Hookup of Black Women. Yes, also, she is. Uh, myself, I'm a platinum sponsor. You got to put your money where of, your mouth of is. Of course. Uh, in Blue Ribbon Realty uh, LLC, Sandra Vasquez, she's the uh, broker, no. and uh, Heritage Adult Daycare. Angela Biddings is the proprietor, and. Um, we have patron friends, we've got bronze uh, sponsors, Allstate Insurance Agent Thomas Wish, and Project Rebuild and Gary nice. uh, also. And uh, of course, we have uh, Kimberly Robinson, our Calumet Township trustee. That's Kimberly K. Robinson, K. I always tease her about that. She's yes. like, give me my K. <laughs> All right, I'm giving you your K, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, we've got Airport Road Dental uh, Associates, Stephen Holm is the dentist, uh, Elka Child Educational Center, and that's one of our reading corner and book drop-offs. Which we'll talk uh, about. There. And we'll talk about that later. I'm sure you'll bring that up. Uh, St. <laughs> John Baptist Church, Dan Muir, the Muir Insurance Group, um, Catherine Betts Foundation, um, and some of our donors. We'll talk about them a little bit later and okay. give them a shout out also. But well, that is we're wonderful excited. to hear. And what really got me excited, I was hearing a lot about um, female business owners. I have mm -hmm. a special place in my heart for oh, sure. entrepreneurs 
who are constantly giving back, whether it be monetarily yes. or with their skills. That's right. Helping the young yes. people to pick pathways for yes. careers. So I love it all. I'm going to back up a little bit and go over to Madam President okay. to help our viewers to understand exactly what the National Hookup of Black Women is. What's your mission and how do we okay. touch our community so greatly? Okay, awesome. National Hookup of Black Women. I will let you know a little bit about our mission. Our mission is to advocate for families to improve their lives through the arts, culture, health, wellness, education, and human service programs. Okay. And therefore, how we accomplish that mission in the community. One thing we have is the Reading for Life program, which we know that literacy is quite important. Yes, yes. It's, it's the foundation yes, of everything yes, else. Yes, yes. And the thing is this right here, we have to start early on in their early childhood, even infancy, so that we can start building those literacy skills, okay? Yes. Because it's not just for that time, it's for the future. Yes. And so with that being said, we have reading corners throughout Northwest Indiana as where we go into these facilities who want us to have a reading corner there and we provide the free books to the children, to the families. And not only do those books have to remain in those corners, but those books can go home with the children. Yes. Okay. And we mm -hmm. replenish those reading corners free of charge. Free, what a free. wonderful project. And it puts me in the mind <laughs> of also another organization in uh, Northwest Indiana, the yes. Gary Literacy Absolutely. Coalition. Yes. Absolutely. So it makes me happy to know that there are programs mm -hmm. that are specifically focused on that foundation yes. because, of course, with any educational institution, right. if you can't read, I mean, how do you progress in yes. anything else? Absolutely. That's the yes. basis. That's right. Yes. So if they're interested, anyone's interested in having a reading corner at their facility, what do they need to do? Okay, they can contact us at 219-617-3145. Again, that number is 219-617-3145. Or send us an email at nhbwindiana at yahoo.com. Now, is there a cost to have it installed, or do you all do no. all the work? No, <laughs> there is no cost to the public. I love our, it. Our programs are free to the public. Mm -hmm. However, they do cost us. Right. That's why we seek for yes, donations absolutely. from the community. We need the community to help us so that we can provide these programs free to the community. Now, that is a perfect, perfect segue because it's a hookup. That's <laughs> right. That's You're right. hooking up the community and yes. connecting us with resources. Right. Yes. Are there other programs in addition to the Reading Corner that we should know about? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> All right. We have a national program as well, the Teens Overcoming Pressure Summit, every year in February, which February is the month for teen abuse okay. and so we bring awareness and so some of the things that we do is that we host a summit throughout the entire organization in the month that. of february mm -hmm. and this past year our summit was virtual okay. that way we were able to touch the lives of youth not just in northwest indiana mm -hmm. but throughout the country okay. and so some of the topics that we had was financial literacy these are some things that we have to start early on with yes. our youth because we don't want to wait until they graduate and they get ready to go to college and as we all know some of the things we see when we would enter college our applications for credit cards. Absolutely. Even okay. back in the day when yes. I was there, they were like, get a t-shirt, get a yes. free pizza, sign your yes. name. My mother was like, don't you do Absolutely. it. Don't you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And so we have had individuals to come in and to facilitate services, programs, dealing with financial literacy, also healthy relationships. Very good. Okay? Yeah. So we teach them about healthy relationships because sometimes things become the norm. Mm -hmm. And love shouldn't hurt. Exactly. And actually, love should not hurt was actually the topic that our two facilitators, which were a, a young couple, husband and wife, and they did a wonderful illustration with a video, all of that. Love does not hurt. That's such a yeah. great ministry for our young people. So are we on task or set to do this again in February? Because I oh, want to get involved. Yes. This is uh, this is a, a norm. Every February yes. there is a teen summit. Okay. Okay. Yes. And we're promoting that all the time. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, we, as she indicated, we um, did it virtually. And 
the kids loved it. We've got great reviews because we do an evaluation. Okay. Uh, because we want feedback right. so that they we will know what we need to offer them. And so uh, they said one of the things they said we wish it was in person. Right. <laughs> you well, know. Hopefully. Yeah. Next year. But we can come back. you know the good thing about virtual and Zoom has played its part here. Yes. People were able to tune in and hear about what we offered, so then they can tap in to other chapters in other parts of the country right. because that is a national mandate. Every chapter has to reach out to the youth okay. for the Teen Summit. Okay. Yeah. I am loving this and definitely want to get involved in the next one. Perhaps it might be a hybrid event where we mm -hmm. do Zoom yeah. and Absolutely. in person yes. because sure. I also love to see the faces of the young people and really let them know how genuine we are in our yeah. missions yes. to help them yes. because sometimes they're not so sure about us adults and, and what our, right. our right. reasoning right. behind wanting and to help them. And meeting their needs. Yes. Are we listening to them? Yes. Is what the question yes, is generally. Yes, yes. Well, yeah. I hope you are listening. You are watching another episode of a CWIT session. I'm joined by the ladies of the National Hookup. I like saying that. The National <laughs> Hookup of Black yes. Women. And we are talking all about their programming and again, their amazing event that's coming up on June 5th, our gala that will take place at the Chateau, 3 o'clock. I don't know which one of you want to give that news, that exciting news you shared on the radio last week, but I heard through the grapevine oh, yeah. that you have a celebrity <laughs> MC that's going yes. to join us. Yes. Who might that be? Well, that is the one and only yes. Mary Green, who is the founder and CEO of the Black Women's Expo. Yes. We are excited about that. Yes. I told someone that she was going to be the MC, and they just about lost yes. it. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> just like I'm so glad. Oh, I am so glad. Yes. And yeah. it's no secret that Mary is a good friend of mine, and I'm forever asking her, come over to Indiana. She said, girl, you got me loving Indiana these days. Oh, I said, yes. Hey, there's some wonderful women. But I, I thought it would really align and make yes. sense when you talk about the National Hookup of Black Women, yes. the Black Women's Expo. Yes. Yes. And so I'm excited about oh, June yes. 5th. And yes. for those who are just tuning in, can you reiterate one more time how they can get tickets or how they can donate mm -hmm. and, and what's on deck for that day? Oh, we've, we've got a great lineup, of course. You know, Mary Green is going to be there to kick it off. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have our community partner there, Ashley Stewart. Mm -hmm. uh, Lady Sachs will be there to entertain hey, us. Uh, we've got a great um, DJ in, Infrared. Uh, DJ Infrared. Yes, She's that would be uh, my schoolmate. Tina. Yes, Tina. Tina. <laughs> That's correct. Yes, Tina. West Side. Yes, and then we've got guest models uh, that are going to be uh, modeling, and then we're going to have a great kickoff. Uh, with India Davies, who is one of our guest models, and she's going to really work that runway. Run Are you going to rip the runway? Uh, I have you you my ripped days. Mighty, <laughs> uh, mighty a few runways in yes. your day. I need I you gotta to bring give that it up back. to the young folk now. <laughs> oh, it's going to be yeah. so much. Oh, fun. absolutely. The food is fabulous there Always. at the Chateau. We got a great uh, menu, and Chi Chi. Hats off the scholars. We've yes. got Chi Chi Hat Designs. Okay. And they put a show on. In fact, they are backed by demand. Yes. Popular demand. I mean, popular demand. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I can't. Yeah. Are you going to grace Photo the booth there. We're having a photo booth. What so you all know about a photo uh, booth? Yeah, 360. A 360. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> These young people have programmed right, us to right. say, this is the thing now. You got to have a photo right. booth to capture Absolutely. those memories yes. and post it yes. for all yes. to see. Yes. I yes. am here for all of it. Yes. So yeah. now, I know there's a cutoff date. You can't just mm -hmm. come to the door. You, I'm sure oh, you're going to no. sell, out, sell out. So right. what are our deadlines and how do they pay and get tickets? Okay, our deadline is May 25th. Yes. And if you would like a ticket, you can reach out to us at 219-617-3145, 219-617-3145, or also you can go ahead and come to our Facebook page, NHBW Indiana, and send us a message. They will respond. Yes, we will when respond. money is calling, we respond. Yes, right? absolutely. <laughs> now, I have to ask, I'm sure there are some women watching, or is it women only who can be members? 
Mm-hmm. Actually, yes. okay, I want to make sure only, that we do, have, we do we have, have male associates. Uh, okay. We don't have any yeah. currently, okay. but yeah. we can have male associates. Okay, sounds yeah. good. So if we're interested in becoming a member, which I am, I don't know, what, why aren't I a member? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. I was asking yes. myself that. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what, what did right. I miss here? <laughs> but we'll take care of that off camera. But for those who are watching, how would we become a member? What do we need to do? Okay, if you're interested in becoming a member, go ahead and reach out to us at nhbwindiana at yahoo.com. Again, nhbwindiana at yahoo.com. Or you can reach us at 219-617-3145. And I will provide you with a little bit of information. And then at that point in time, we will connect you with our membership chair, Paula Nall. Sounds good. Is there an age requirement? Like you have to be a certain age? Only because oh, I'd like 18, to get 18. 18. Okay, yeah. perfect. I'd like to get all of the women on my team at Sea with PR as members oh, of the I'm National wonderful. Army. Awesome. Awesome. We need to hook some oh, people up. Yes. Right? So yes. I'm going to hook my team up so that we can hook up these young ladies yes. in the community Beautiful. that we serve. Beautiful. Awesome. After all, we're right here in this community. Yes. So that's my commitment on this happy Friday. And so as we get ready to wrap yes. up, are there any final remarks that you want to have those who are always on the fence? Like, do I really want to go? Do I really want to support? What would you say to them? And then what would you say to them to say, support this event and support this organization? I would say this is the event that you do not want to miss. Uh, it is a beneficial event. It is one that is supporting our women and their families, scholarships and programs. And we want you to come out and uh, we're giving out scholarships on, on that day. And so we need to let our young people know that we're behind them. Yes. Uh, we're going to have great entertainment for you. You'll have uh, good social uh, networking going on at that event. And you just don't want to miss it. We look forward to seeing you. I love it. Yes, and absolutely. Madam President, close us out. Okay, I will close you out in saying this right here. We have to invest in our youth. And also, I want to say this right here. When you invest in this event, you think about the many lives that you're investing in. And you can also think about that one day you may need access to those services and programs as well. And we'll be there for you. I love it. You have been watching another edition of a Seawit session. A Seawit session is a pop-up interview in a pop-up location with a surprise guest. I have been joined by my friends Claudette Bullock and Sandra Vasquez of the National Hookup of Black Women, an organization of which I will soon be a member. Can't yes. wait until the gala on Sunday, June 5th. I promise Mary Green will be there with bells Ooh, on. Yes. We're getting ready. We're prepping on Monday to get ready for June 5th. Crank it up. And again. <laughs> Get your tickets. <laughs> Hurry up. May 25th. Yes. This event will sell out. It's a given. It's going to sell out. Fashion show. 360 photo booth. Great food. Yeah. Music. Sex. Fun. <laughs> what more can you ask for? Chi Chi. Chi Chi. All of that. It's the fashion show for me. And with that, I wish each and every oh, one I of you. You have one more? Tell you, uh, to tell that you. That our um, commentator for the fashion portion will be uh, Devetta White, okay. uh, the daughter of the now late Vera Ship. Oh, yes. So you know she was groomed by the Legacy. best. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, that's just one more reason that you need to be there on June 5th. Uh, tickets are $50, only $50, and we're investing in young people, scholarships, reading corners, um, conferences, and much more. So yes. make sure you share this video and we will see you on June 5th, if not before. I've been your host, Chelsea Whittington, and we'll see you next time. See ya.